Okay, hello everyone. My name is Felipe Salinas, and for tonight, the topic I will be discussing is illegal immigration. Now, think about what that means to all of you. Um, what do you think of when you hear illegal immigration? Well, um, Miriam Webster defines illegal immigration as a foreign person living in a country without having official, mainly governmental permission to live there. It's a sensitive topic, so please listen to what I'm about to say. Immigration leads, uh, um, my three supporting arguments are immigration leads to labor, specialization, and I'll go over why that's important. Illegal immigration is instrumental in preventing economic decline. And my third um, supporting point is that overall, illegal immigration provides an asset to the US economy. Um, the population today includes a far higher percentage, 12% of foreign-born uh, foreign -born Americans than in recent decades, yet the economy is strong, with a higher total gross domestic product, higher GDP per person, higher productivity per worker, and more American working than ever before. Um, Kirk Johnson said that in his article, um, The Real Problem with Immigration and the Real Solution, on his website, www.heritage.org, Immigration Report the Real Problem. Um, and I would also like to add that there are 11.5 million plus illegal immigrants here in the United States. And like I mentioned earlier, illegal immigration is, is not just like if, what you would think is Mexicans, it also is like Filipinos and other third world, um, third world country people. So moving on to my first secondary claim, the National Bureau of Economic Research states that illegal immigration leads to labor specialization. The importance of labor special specialization means an increase in factor pro productivity. The workers choose what role they want to specialize in, resulting in a product that's weight, resulting in a better product for a much cheaper price. This also means they're not looking for the same jobs as other workers mainly those natural born citizens. And as an outcome, that means that there is more income, income gain for American workers. Specifically, the study found uh, that one, there's a 1% 1 increase in immigrant employment per state, which leads to a 0.5% increase in income per worker. And moving on to my second point, illegal immigration is important for preventing economic decline. Adding foreign workers to the, to the economy does not uh, crowd out employment for other foreign workers, but to an extent there are limitations. However, larger, well, it has been proven that larger populations lead to an increase in consumption le levels, higher demands, and more production. Removing uh, illegal immigrants will create a shortage of labor. In a study done by PewResearch.org, a Illegal immigrants do not make up the majority of workers in any U.S. industry. Most immigrants families have a most immigrant families have a positive net fiscal impact on the U.S., adding 88,000 um, more in tax revenues than they consume in services. And Social Security payroll taxes paid by illegal immigrant workers have led to a. 463 billion funding surplus. They don't steal jobs, they take jobs that others won't work for and often for a lower wage, like I mentioned earlier. So removing undocumented immigrants can trigger an economic recession, which this brings me to my last point. Illegal immigration is an overall asset to the US economy. Hypothetically, if you think about it, removing all and every undocumented immigrant would take at least 20 years and it would cost an estimate of 200 to 300 billion dollars. One director of the Immigration and Customs Enforcement, ICE, estimated that the average cost to a deported immigrant is $12,500. So for now, um, when Obama was president, he created a, a program called DACA, and it's a temporary fix. DACA stands for Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals. And basically, DACA, every two years, you, um, every undocumented uh, student has to go through background check, and they have to pay $500, and that $500 goes directly to the government. So that's good. 
And like, they have to have no criminal record, no tickets, no anything. And that is it. There's a total of six, six, 689,900 DACA recipients since September 2017. And each of them pay $500 every two years. That, that it gives 345 million right to the government in order just to work. So to conclude, my main points, well, my main topic was illegal immigration and my supporting claims were that illegal immigration leads to labor specialization. Illegal immigration is important to prevent in preventing economic decline. And finally, that illegal immigration is an overall asset to the US economy. Thank you. And All right, well, you define illegal immigration at the beginning, but you don't have a propositional statement, so that's a little confusing. You do have three supporting claims that you preview for us. I can tell the general intent is to defend uh, the presence of illegal immigrants in the economy uh, and suggest that they have a, a better, a, an overall beneficial impact. That should be the proposition, and I'm not sure why it isn't stated at the beginning of the presentation. On the first supporting point, uh, when you get to it, you actually start citing evidence before you tell us what the claim is, but uh, then you do come back to the issue of labor specialization and suggest that uh, you've got this whole theory that explains all of this. The evidence on it, I think, is a little bit thin. In fact, there's one place where you suggest that there's not really a single job category in the U.S. where illegal immigrants make up a majority of the workers, so I'm wondering how it is that this specialization is unique to um, illegal immigrants. That's a little bit confusing. The uh, second point is the uh, idea that we're going to potentially lose workers. That's one of the things that you use that second piece of that first piece of evidence that I just mentioned. I know it wasn't your first piece of evidence, but the first piece of evidence that I just mentioned uh, to support. And then there was this uh, piece of data that uh, came along that I think needs a lot more explanation that suggests that uh, the illegal, Im illegal immigrants each represent $88,000 of uh, benefit to the economy, uh, which apparently results in $463 billion of uh, benefit to the economy. And that sounds pretty substantial to me. Uh, it certainly dwarfs the $345 million that you're talking about on that third point, so why would I even worry about that? If, this, if the second point is true, the third point is largely irrelevant. So, so you could probably cut that out, that whole third point uh, where you're talking about DACA and how much it costs to deport uh, immigrants, and instead just talk about what the economic benefit is going to be and explain that a little bit more. Uh, like I said, internally it's pretty well organized. There are a couple points that need more explanation. Some of the evidence is very conclusionary. It doesn't always explain how it reached the, uh, in, the inference that you're making, uh, and I think you need to be a little bit careful about that. Okay, I'm going to stop there.